Hello everyone. We already know about Newland's law of octaves, which states when the elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic masses, then every eighth element has properties similar to that of the first element. We also saw that Newland's law of octaves had many flaws, but it inspired many scientists to form a table that correlates the properties of elements with their atomic masses a russian scientist named dmitry mendeleev did the task wonderfully with 63 elements he created a table by arranging elements in increasing order of atomic masses in such a way that elements with similar properties fell into the same column elements were arranged on the basis of their fundamental property that is the atomic mass and also on the similarity of chemical properties such as what compound does it form with oxygen and hydrogen such tabular arrangement of elements is called periodic table mendeleev's periodic table contains vertical columns called groups and horizontal rows called periods you can say mendeleev's periodic table was one of the most important achievement in chemistry but how did he achieve something which many scientists failed before well mendeleev explained basic physical and chemical properties of all 63 elements and wrote them into cards then he took elements with similar properties and pinned their cards together on a wall he observed that most of the elements got placed in a table and were arranged in the order of their increasing atomic masses so he concluded the physical and chemical properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic masses and this is known as periodic law which states that the properties of elements are the periodic function of their atomic masses so mendeleev focused on the basic properties hence in some occasions he had placed an element with a slightly greater atomic mass before an element with a slightly lower atomic mass it was done to group elements with similar properties together for example cobalt with atomic mass equal to 58.9 appeared before nickel having atomic mass equal to 58.7 you know mendeleev left many gaps in the table and he boldly predicted existence of some elements which would fill that place in future and for this he used sanskrit prefix eka meaning one as prefix while naming those elements which were not discovered till that time for example eka boron eka aluminum and eka silicon you know scandium gallium and germanium which were discovered later have properties similar to eka boron eka aluminum and eka silicon respectively He also predicted the atomic mass of eka aluminum as 68 and you may be surprised to know gallium's atomic mass is 69.7 which is very close to 68 also the formula of oxide of eka aluminum was e2o3 and gallium also produced oxide as ga2 O3 Later noble gases were discovered and added to Mendeleev's periodic table in new groups without disturbing the existing order So we see one of the strengths of Mendeleev's periodic table was that when these gases were discovered they could be placed in a new group without disturbing the existing order But Mendeleev's table had few shortcomings too. For example, hydrogen was placed with alkali elements 
based on its reaction with oxygen, sulfur, etc. Hydrogen produces compounds comparable to the compounds produced by alkali metals in such reactions. But hydrogen is a gas diatomic like chlorine, fluorine, etc. of group 7. So there was confusion with hydrogen's position in the table. He could not assign correct position to hydrogen in his table. In very few cases, non-similar elements were placed into the same cell into subgroups. For example, here bromine is at 7A group and manganese at 7B group. A and B are subgroups and hence properties of these two elements is supposed to be almost same. But in reality, it is not. Also, isotopes were discovered long after Mendeleev had proposed his periodic classification of elements. Hence, there was no place for isotopes in his table. In case you forgot, isotopes of an element have similar chemical properties but different atomic masses. So to sum up, Mendeleev arranged elements in order of their increasing atomic masses in form of a table which is known as Mendeleev's periodic table. The periodic table contains vertical columns called groups and horizontal rows called periods. And lastly, Mendeleev's periodic law states that the properties of elements are the periodic function of their atomic masses. That's all for now. Bye-bye.